Um, I'm making meatballs. I have a pound of ground sirloin. Um, you can use ground round or ground sirloin. Um, I don't like to use real highly fat meat, although um, if you use what you can afford. I add um, one egg, and it's about one egg per pound. I don't have a recipe. I just do what, um, you know, go by feel and looks, how much moisture is in the meat. And it's about a cup of uh, breadcrumbs um, per pound of meat, too. And, and really, for me, it's a, it's a couple of handfuls. Um, I use also the herbs in, that I use in my meatballs, and a little bit different than my family use, but um, pretty similar, is I use garlic powder, not garlic salt. You want to add your own salt. Um, so I use just a tiny sprinkle of dried garlic powder. Um, believe it or not, Italians don't overdo garlic in everything like um, people seem to think. I use a small amount of oregano. It's approximately a quarter of a teaspoon, but I also go by how, how the oregano smells, and I crush it in my hand to release the oils, uh, and after I'm done mixing, I will adjust my seasonings. And this is parsley, and uh, it's a big teaspoon to tablespoon, uh, and again, I crush it real fine. This is actually parsley that I have grown in my, uh, grown and dried myself, even though it's in a uh, jar. I just reuse the jars we have. I'm going to use a, a pinch of um, coarse sea salt or kosher salt and a little bit of fresh ground black pepper. Um, I don't make my meatballs very spicy. I'll adjust uh, the seasonings in the sauce. Um, the next thing, the last thing I add is um, cheese, and I use Pecorino Romano. That's my favorite. You can use Parmesan. Their flavors are different. Do not buy the stuff in the can. You can get pre-shredded pre at the deli or do it yourself, and I'm just going to add uh, an amount that I think is, is good. If the meat is very dry, um, there's not much moisture in it, you can soak your breadcrumbs in milk, and I've been known to do that. Uh, or add a little broth if I happen to have broth. And then I'm just going to get in with my hands and mix, mix it up. Um, meatballs are not a recipe as much as uh, a technique of making meatballs. You can vary your seasonings uh, to what you like. If you like them a little with a little more oregano or a little more parsley, um, you can put basil in with them. And I can go by the looks and the smell of my, my meatballs. I always brown them. Um, and see, the, the, there's not a lot of uh, breadcrumb. It's not overly breadcrumby. Um, you can also take stale Italian bread, soak it in milk, squeeze it out, and put it in there. And that's how my grandmother did it. Uh, I don't happen to have any. So I use what, you use what you've got. Um, and then I'm going to warm my pot up that I actually am going to cook my meatballs in and make my sauce in. I don't make very large meatballs. I make kind of a smallish meatball. And again, that's probably from my family. My father's family is from um, Trejarno, Italy, which is near Barre, and they did not eat golf, you know, uh, softball sized meatballs as we also tend to do in this country. Um, this is a little bit more maybe traditional to, you know, so I use what my grandmother did, really. I, I tend to make meatballs like my grandmother. If you're not sure of the seasonings, what you can do is take a small piece of your meatball mix, fry it, taste it, and then adjust your seasonings. I can go by the smell and the look uh, of what they're like. So I'm just going to make my meatballs up real quick, and then you'll see me uh, brown them. I've started to brown my meatballs and I will brown them in batches. The last meatball, I'll show you how I make a meatball, is I take it and roll it between my hands just to form a nice shape. I don't press too hard. You don't need to compact it and make it um, hard like a rock. My meatballs are soft. Um, if you use fresh bread, and soak it in milk, your meatballs may be a little more tender than if you use 
um, dry breadcrumbs. I don't use seasoned breadcrumbs because I like to season them myself. You can also brown your meatballs in batches. And uh, I just, just return and check them as they're going. And then I'll get them brown on all sides. You don't have to brown meatballs in the skillet. You can bake them in the oven and get them brown that way. And some people actually just drop them uh, unbrowned into the sauce. But I like to brown them a little bit because I think it adds more flavor. Uh, the browning adds more flavor to the, the meatball itself and to the sauce. It really just depends on uh, personal taste and family history, really. To add my sauce, now the sauce I happen to have is homemade tomato sauce for my own tomatoes this summer. Uh, it's cooked with garlic, onion, and salt, pepper, very little herbs. It's a very plain tomato sauce base that I can use to make anything from tomato soup to spaghetti sauce. Uh, the canned sauce I like to use, believe it or not, is Hunt's. It doesn't have to be a uh, real expensive sauce. I like to just use a couple of different brands. Uh, San Marzano tomatoes are a very sweet Italian uh, tomato. If your meatballs come out too soft, you've uh, got too much liquid in them, if they're falling apart, you may need to add a little more egg or a little more dried bread crumb. If they come out hard as a rock and you can bounce them, you have too much egg and bread, dry bread. You could add uh, bread soaked in milk for softness and don't handle them a lot. Sometimes if you overmix your meatball mix, it will toughen the mix up and it'll make it like a, a ball. Now there is um, probably not as much sauce in this pot as I would like. So I, will going to, I am going to add an extra can of sauce, but I'm also going to add um, some uh, basil, dried basil. You can use fresh. Uh, I use fresh all the time when I have it. I'm going to add a little more parsley. And I'm going to add a little um, garlic, more garlic powder, just a tad. You can also brown or cook a little garlic. Don't brown it. Brown it will make it bitter. Cook a little garlic in the bottom of the pan. You can also add onion. I don't. Uh, I don't particularly like it that way. Uh, but a lot of people do. Now, this makes my dad crazy when my dad would see me do this. But I also like to add a little bit of cheese just to the sauce, just a little bit. At the end, I'm actually going to add a little bit of baking soda uh, to sweeten the sauce up. A lot of people use sugar because the tomato sauce is too acidic. I don't do that. I just use a tiny bit of baking soda and that will neutralize the acid in the tomato. These homegrown plum tomatoes are not very acidic, so it's not really a problem. Uh, San Marzano are not acidic, but many tomatoes are uh, very acidic and will bother people. So that's when the little bit of baking soda added to it is good. And that is your basic tomato sauce. Does not need cooked for hours. Uh, an hour of cooking is uh, completely adequate. The meat just needs to be cooked through. Uh, like many things, if you cook it and let it set, it develops its flavor and it's a little bit more tasty. And that's the Del Medico family meatball recipe.